Uh, my wife knows that. <laughs> um, would, does anybody have anything to uh, illuminate? It's uh, pretty dark. Torch. I mean, I mean, I ha I I still have dark vision from the beginning of the. Uh, dark from, vision is still like. I have ten torches. Yeah. You don't see colors. Yeah. But do I see anything weird? Or out with of the ordinary? With, I like a torch. Okay. Uh, Let's see here, here. I don't have the light um, cantrip, unfortunately. You light your torch, and uh, the skin of these orcs is red. 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 Does, it look, it. does it look much like our friend Pals? No. Uh, no? Pals, not red. Pals has okay. a, uh, a green hue to his skin. These orcs are blood red. Well, yeah, they are now because they're fucking dead. No. <laughs> Actual skin color is blood red. No right. green at all. Red orcs. Uh, Pals, do these look uh, anything, uh, do these look like anything you recognize? Yeah, they look like orcs. Well, thank you. You are, uh, your knowledge is appreciated. Is there any <laughs> knowledge skill that I can roll to attempt to, like, identify yeah. what... Maybe in my travels I have come across orcs of similar heritage. Um, give me a history. Oh, that's a thing. Nope, I'm nope. Really good. No, I, uh, I've got a six. No. Um, we're at disadvantage also. So oh, why, why are we um, at disadvantage? Because we are exhausted. Oh, okay. Um, yep, I, I got, got a 15. A uh, six total. Nothing um, that from history and, and what you've studied has uh, come to mind. Mm. Mm. Alright, do we uh, find anything on the bodies <clears throat> um, that is useful? Crude weapons, um, none of them are carrying gold. It was yeah. They have uh, supplies for um, pretty much combat. Uh, long marches. No, gold your hand no yeah, rations or anything protect. that would be <laughs> useful to a group of like us? No. Alright. I'm concerned that these might be a scouting party. I'm um, sorry. I'm concerned that these might be a scouting party for whatever f might be burning the game. I think that w we should burn these bodies so that whoever comes looking after them can't find anything of import off them. Well, I would like to retrieve my hand axes. These, these are the orcs that have been attacking the uh, the frontiers. But I've never heard of them coming this far into the kingdom. Well, all the more reason that we need to go closer to Loghain to see what's going on. Either way, if anything comes to find this scouting party, I don't want them to find anything about us. Burn them. Well, give me a moment. I'm, I'm going to investigate each one of the corpses. Not very well. I'm glad you're They're honest about even the worse. situation. <laughs> say you are a disadvantage. Yeah. <clears throat> Regardless, no matter what you one find, one. even if you find the 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 answer to youth eternal, I still think that we should burn these things. Um, uh, fourteen. Yeah. You, you I have, I'm looking. Yeah. You, Real fucking close. You um. You have knowledge of it, but you're, you're, it's, it's almost like you're, you're trying to hope that it's not true. Kind of thing. I, we need to grab whatever so, weapons we've thrown at them, whatever yeah, arrows gather, we've shot, uh, whatever they are, we need to pile these things together and we need to burn them so that they can't find wherever we're going. Well, we're going to the game. Uh, regardless, I don't want them to have any sort of advantage in finding us there. Wait, why, don't we just, why don't we just hide the bodies? Uh, what would be the point of hiding them over burning them? What's Time. the difference? Time. Well, if, you, Time. if you burn them, then in somebody the finds the corpses, knows there was a battle. If you hide them, they, they don't see get the found. In the dark. I think we should burn them and get the hell out of here. Alright, well everybody go search for the weapons. I retract my claws. And light the fire because I didn't have to throw any weapons. All right, so you're burning the bodies. <laughs> I don't. That's care. what I. That's what I, I say. I if you, if you want to burn them, or go ahead. I don't care. All right, so um, as you burn the bodies, um, screams are coming from the bodies. Um, the dead bodies. The dead bodies. Um, the flames 
turn a blood red, and it almost looks like something is cast off in the scream stop. Oh, uh, that's not good. That's not what happens when people die. That's not a normal thing. That's not good. We need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> that, that was I'll, weird. I'll yeah, that's what they need to be concerned about. So what, what Thank you, pals. <laughs> Thank you for joining in. No, that's that's not what happens when you burn a body. We need to get the hell away from here. That's not normal. I, I enjoy the question. <laughs> that's about all I can tell you. I, I understand. <laughs> yeah, we need to get out, get out of here. That's that's odd. Everything about what has happened the last couple of days is not normal. Graham. Yeah, we need to get away from this particular area. We need to get uh, either further or closer to Loghain, but the answers, I think, are going to be closer to Loghain. We need to go closer there. That's what you're saying. To there. Closer. Closer. I think that we should get closer okay, to Loghain. Okay. Okay. Take, take a deep breath. <laughs> Relax. Are we you say place? that, but shit's burning weird. <laughs> That's not cool, man! Can we take a short rest? Yeah, you're gonna finish out the night um, with the uh, the burning or or orcs, uh, orc fire. corpse just okay. uh, as a as a nice little campfire. I don't recommend uh, toasting marshmallows or meat on it, but do we? Ha why, why would we toast meat? Meat. meat. Oh, meat. <laughs> meat. Well, the only meat we have is orc meat. So. <laughs> Main smack on the menu, boys. Gopher Everett? <laughs> also, a third of a gopher would only <laughs> rouse my appetite without bending her back down. Okay. Also, both of those things. Alright. Alright, so we're going. Gonna... What? Would anybody like to take watch? I'll take watch. I will, yeah, okay. <laughs> then I will take second watch. Um, is, is anyone low on hit points and is going to expend a hit die? Yes. You're all right. If you are going to expend a hit die to heal, then you will also regain one d six extra because of my song of rest. Excellent. Sure. Sounds good. All right then. Uh, he's doing oh, the tree thing again. You're gonna do the, you're gonna do the tree thing again. Me all right. off to skirt your sleep. <laughs> the frog. Green sleeves was all my joy. Green sleeves was my delight. This is what they asked for last season. That's, that's <laughs> actually what they asked for. I assume it was Marty. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> no other uh, problems arise to the, uh, the can night. You, can um, you sing it like Johnny Cash? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you, you all uh, you all Green stay sleeves. stay asleep until until morning. Green um, sleeves, and then you. Um, start to continue through to uh, Loghain. Alright. Um, when you get to the outskirts, everything's destroyed outside of the city gates. The tavern is the destroyed. Shops. The trinket shop is destroyed. All the homes burned. Um, are there any people that are... There are bodies. Um, most of them have been dismembered, burned. Um, something came through here. Um, with a vengeance. Is it and, still uh, here? Um, from. Uh, give me a uh, perception. Oh. Son of a bitch. Uh, 16. The, uh, the town is quiet. Um, a very stark contrast to what you saw the last time you were here. Where All we is. saw previously was the outskirts and the front gates. So the yeah. front gates are destroyed? No, the front gates are... The, the walls and the front gates of the town are intact. Um, almost looks like there's no damage at all. The suburb on the outside the, is raised. The outskirts but, but, on the outside but, 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 is totally raised. So it's the tavern and the... Tavern, the trinket shop, the homes, the other businesses, destroyed. All right. Um, I'm going to run directly to the trinket shop and whatever is left of it and try to find whoever is there. Investigate. All right. Um, 15. Um, you get to, um, the trinket shop and, um, some of the walls are, are actually falling apart. The door's still standing, but of course, the walls are out. Always it's always standing. It's a sturdy door. Um, you uh, you come to the door and uh, when you touch the handle, it just falls down. 
Is the uh, is the uh, is the elf or his wife still around? Nobody is inside. Um, the the trinkets that were in the store are roughly all gone or destroyed by fire. Um, the uh, the back room there's there's just a, a opening and there's nobody inside the store. That's do we see any beings like? Do we find like Horus or Toric in the bodies? Um, you're searching, and the the only bodies you see are of some of the townspeople that you saw screaming at the city gates. Okay. Do we see any living creature outside of the closed gates? Um, you see um, crows feasting. On uh, bodies. Do we see any living creatures inside the gates, such as the guards that we saw previously? You see guards standing behind the city gates. All right, I run up to the gates, g- grab onto the metal, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, the pergolas, and ask, well, well, what, what, what happened? Please tell me what happened here. Uh, the the guard um, that you see looks rather young. Um, and his eyes are like as big as they can get. He looks like he's seen a lot of death in the last time period, pretty much. Um, he he tries to, to get out the words of the the, the, the city is is on lockdown. Uh, that's all he says to me. That's the only thing. He all right. Says. I ask him, please tell me what happened to the. To the exterior town of Logan, please tell me what happened. Uh, roll of persuasion. All right, uh, fifteen. He um he lowers his voice and looks behind him to make sure nobody else is around. Um, he says, "I was I was ordered to to keep them out. I was ordered to." not open the gates for anyone, not even as they were butchered in front of me. Right, uh, so I asked the uh, the guardsman, are you talking about all of the people who were trying to get in? At first we were, we were closed for some sort of intruder, and I, I never got any information about that, but then they came. In, in numbers with siege it's just ruins I, I, uh, I give him my my um, my wine flagon and uh, you know ask him you know please take a drink describe these things that attack the town please he, um, he pass it through the, the bars it's big enough to um, he grabs it with both. He is visually, you can see him shaking. And um, he takes a, a sip and hands it back. Um, he says, um, they, were, they were orcs, but they didn't look like orcs. They looked like demons. How so? What's, what, what differentiated them? Orcs, <coughs> orcs are like him. Hello. Large. <laughs> they have the the green. These were red. Blood, red. What happens if you burn them? I I couldn't tell you. All right, I uh, I tell the uh, the guardsman that we have uh, we have some experience in dealing with orcs like this and that we might be able to help who is I ask who is in charge um <coughs> well my guard captain Bryson he's he's in charge uh, but I've I've been ordered to keep keep the gates closed and, until further notice all right well I uh, I tell him please don't go against his orders. Keep the uh, the gates closed, but bring his captain to us so that me so that we may talk to him directly, because we might be able to help. Um, I'm going to just 
sort of briefly say, where are the orcs now? After they laid siege for what seemed like hours, they simply left. They had siege weapons, and they left with them. They had. They had these things on wheels, and they shot fire. I had, I'd never seen it before. Like like towers to get over the walls, or uh, 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 something to it's, to destroy the the doors, or they tried attacking the walls, but Logan's walls are strong. They they lived through the the war of flame. Does anybody have survival skill? Yes, uh, I have a level of survival. I'm on level. Seventeen. Well, I meant like to, to look to see if we could find the oh, wheel tracks yeah. for the yes, for these siege things. I'll take a look. For okay, I uh, say so you investigate. Uh, you break off and investigate a little bit. Um, you see that the uh, the wheel tracks are are heavy, pushing. It's almost it's almost like they're not fully rolling. They're more of just getting pushed okay. through the the dirt and the okay. mud. So they're almost like so siege <laughs> weapons. Yeah, like siege so weapons true. So true siege weapons. I, I, I repeat, who? please bring your leader to us. You, you don't have to let us in, but we might have some information that will be uh, appreciated by your, by your leader. We might be able to help. Uh, he, uh, he bows to you and gracefully runs, runs off. Iggy's going to walk over to, to Wolf. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm I'm not going anywhere near that gate, but uh, you might want to get Ulrich's attention and like bring everybody over here so I can talk to you for a minute. All right. Um, I'll just walk over and nudge Ulrich. Uh, don't really want the guards. Don't really want the guards seeing Iggy, but uh, he would like to speak to us all in private away from the, the gates. Well, it'll be f it'll be a couple of minutes before the the guard comes back with his superior. So let's let's go and talk. Right, we'll walk over off to the side. Of it. That's fine. So, uh, church did this. I the the church led orcs to attack its own town. I had already, honestly, with the fact that they would not even let all of the innocents in here, I had what? I had basically already placed blame on them anyways, but well, that is I did not believe any of you. I was, I was hoping to find some, like, material proof before I told you guys about this, but uh, in light of the end of the war, the church was concerned about losing relevance and decided to fabricate a new threat. The orcs? The orcs. I'm not surprised. So the so the church is using the orcs as a weapon to push their own agenda. Is that what I'm understanding? It's to instill fear, to force worship. Yes. The orcs have been okay. a fear for for <laughs> decades. So they just decided to use that as a Scapegoat is not fear enough. They've been supplying them and paying them to do raids. I've never seen or heard of anything on this scale before, but they've been using the orcs to instill fear to gain power and influence. Okay, so this is a perfect example of why we need to get in there and investigate how and why so that we can figure out where it's coming from. Why would they feel the need to bring this this weapon to Loghain? They already were gaining Pals, make an insight power right. within the capital. They already had the ear of the king. I don't know. Like I said, I've never heard of anything on this scale before. But these orcs are in the employ of the church. You feel, you feel they're telling the truth, but you don't want to admit it to yourself. Fair enough. Like guys, like we've we've seen the fact that there has been a relic that came to the uh, to uh, to the doorsteps of this uh, of this capital and was attacked 
and if you're what you're saying is true, Iggy, then the the orcs and the kobolds may even in fact be in cahoots together in order to to deal with some sort or to. It, it could be. It could be that the orcs are now out of control. I don't know. Uh, I think the fact that they just up and left means that they are still well in control. I agree Otherwise, the orcs would have continued to lay siege to the town. I, I agree. I'm going to turn to Pals and say, Pals, friend, we have, I have, I do not want to use the word tolerated your faith in an order that has done nothing but shun and mock you behind your back. What? Yeah. Yes. What? <laughs> what you don't understand is that these these people, when you are not listening, and I am, they don't say nice things about you. No, no, no. Listen to me. My pals. church is my church. Hmm? Pals. They have done it nothing is, wrong. It is time to understand that while I have great respect for your faith. The paladin I, saved my home. I owed him everything. Pals, pals, they are a fantastic and amazing, powerful order. But, but, <laughs> but every order, no matter how altruistic their goals, they have some secrets. Every every order does. I don't believe it. I would like to persuade you says. otherwise. <laughs> it is, pals. It is possible that that while. Baron is a good force that someone has corrupted his message. And if your if your faith in the god of Baron is really true, it should behoove you to seek out this corrupting seed. I would find a way to prove you wrong. Baron may be incorruptible. I hope you do. But the Me people too. who spout his teachings are corruptible. Absolutely. So while what? These the, are the people who saved my homeland. No, there for are no reason other than that they wanted to. There's, there were specific people that saved your homeland. Not all of these people saved you. Perhaps. Your, <clears throat> I will prove you wrong. I hope you do, brother. But, obviously there is something amiss here that we need to investigate, and you need to have an open I agree. mind. I just don't think the Blood Orcs had anything to do with it. I don't, I don't think it. that the Blood Orcs had... I don't think the blood orcs like you had anything to do with it. They are uncontrollable. Right now you are uncontrollable, but I love you nonetheless. (laughs) Mitch, Iggy, and Bree roll perception checks. Thank God. I'm looking like at a piece of dirt. (laughs) (laughs) I literally have no idea what's going on because... 21. You notice that Bryson is at the gates. Okay. What if, you got I'm, right? I'm just going to like quietly walk away from the conversation. All right. I like it. I, I am going to continue to try to persuade uh, pals that you know, while we are on the same side, maybe what he believes is not 100% correct. <clears throat> You should go talk to Bryce, and I will prove you wrong. All right, so I will show my. You it, hear, uh, you hear somebody clearing the throat behind you, and it's Bryce right, at the gates. All right, so I look back, and uh, is this the the, the leader that this I asked is the, for? Um, it's it's one of the uh, it's the leader of the watch. He is of the King's Guard. All right, I uh, I I bow down to the leader of the watch, and I uh, pronounce myself, "Hello, I am Ulrich Newstead." I am a mercenary who has uh, been fighting the, uh, the, uh, the, the force that has been besieging your, uh, uh, your town. Mm-hmm. Um, he, uh, he looks at you and uh, well, that's good. he kind of scowls at you and then he sees pals and he grins. He says, uh, Paladin Pals. How good it is to see you. Hello. <laughs> are you with this? I am. Frat? These are my friends. May we come in? It's very scary out here. <laughs> you are a man of the cloth, after all. Absolutely. 
Sure. I shake my head. I'll open the gates. Damn. We may have use them. for a paladin like you. So he open. He orders the gates opened. See, guys, told you nothing to worry about. <laughs> um, as you uh, come in, he lowers the gates. Are you following into the town? Nope. Okay. So I, I hate to split the party, but you're fine. nope. Do you so, have that disguise um, kit? That was why you yeah. had the disguise kit. Mm, no. Okay. How so long is it going to push you here? You, uh, you find a, a nice little spot that's not on fire and it's out of sight, and you're you're just going to camp out for a bit. I, I was going to try to find like a sewer entrance or something. That's fine. Do what you want. Um, investigate if you would like to try to find a sewer entrance into the city. Natural 20. Yeah, you, uh, <laughs> you find a sewer entrance yeah. right where you want to go. Um, you just turn around like, right there. Hey! <laughs> I mean, is this cover. usefulness literally any other game? <laughs> um, you, uh, while they're they're walking and, and having a, a, he's having small talk with uh, pals, you pretty much just slip through a grate in the wall and uh, you see them. You're pretty much just following them on an opposite alley, just catching them as they're passing the streets. Excellent. All right. Um, and I'm putting on cloak for. Yeah. Whatever good it does me. So, as you're walking, uh, the entire time Bryson is talking to um, to pals. Uh, pals, where have you been all of this time? I am still searching for the holy board stretch of these fine folks. That is good. That is good. The, we will find it. The temple needs that. <laughs> yes. Um, and and you, um, people. Um, why are you accompanying Sir Pals around? Pals has proven himself to be quite useful in a myriad of situations, and, um... I'd be he, hitting things. He is very useful. He, at, he, he, he very much is, and we, we appreciate the fact that you realize that. Yes. But, um, maybe you could tell us what actually the is going on. Well... The steward will be able to tell you more. What can? But but I'm asking you in a um, in, in, in an intimidating way. Maybe you're you in, should tell us what's going on. Roll me an intimidation, then. Oh boy. All right. Um, twenty-one. Uh, I'm gonna have to roll against you then. <laughs> All right. Appreciate it. He looks at you and he stops. And he gets in your face. You just look barred. Understand you're trying to puff up. He meant no disrespect. Shot, but you're in my city. So I suggest that you calm the fuck down. I mean, that's, that's fantastic, but we've killed a number of... Uh, of what? Uh, orcs. Yeah. Uh, orcs uh -huh. and... Uh, and kobolds and other things that have tried to myrtle <laughs> us and a number okay. of things that we like. So it would be really great if you stopped jerking us around. That would be phenomenal. You should not talk to a pilot in that way. I will inform you. Not, you are, I will inform you. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That if you think that only these two eyes hey, know where we are right now, you are very mistaken. Well, maybe you should help us instead of try to hinder us. And that is why I am taking you to the steward. This is above me. All right. So I, I suggest accept that. if your name is not Sir Pals Around, <laughs> stop, stop talking. Uh, the, the stop talking <laughs> thing is going to be problematic. But I it wish... is. It is going to be problematic <laughs> for you. Don't worry, guys. I got this. So he uh, good hands. he puts his arm around uh, Sir Pals and he says, "As I was saying," and uh, he I am continues. So to, uncomfortable. About he uh, he continues to uh, give Pals, uh, just like blowing up his ego as much as possible. Like I'm so glad to <laughs> see you. Um, it, it's been so long. Remember the time that we did this and this, and you're just eating that shit up because you're Pals and you're awesome. Yeah. So uh, you yeah. get to the um, the the castle gates that are inside of the city, and um, he stops and the gates open and he says, "Pass through here. You will see the steward. And once you see the steward, he will give you instructions." Is 
is the steward a like a, a city position or is that a church position? Well, it's, I guess it's the same thing. It was once a city position, and now he not only serves the king. Well, I'm asking, like, out of not. Oh, I'm asking. Like, out of, if I, if, yeah, if, yeah, if yeah. my if if I my hey, character. Give me would a know. give me a history check then. Uh, 22. Yeah, so um, the position was once a city position where he just, he did the, pretty much the, um, anything to do with the city, he was with the king on those decisions. Um, kind of infrastructure kind of stuff, keeping things up. Uh, but now that the church is involved with the kingdom, um, he's not only the right hand of the king, but he is the direct contact between pretty much the, if you want to call it, the Pope of, of Baron. So, um, he because the the king himself. So he's is, worm tongue. All right, cool. <laughs> um, the king himself um, doesn't go outside of the kingdom for obvious reasons. The king leaving the kingdom is always susceptible right. to assassinations. Um, so the steward is the one that usually goes in his stead and talks to right. other know, city officials and religious. I just wasn't sure if he was a member of the church or if he was just a city official. Or yeah, like I said, it, it was he was a city official and now he is part of the church. Oh, great. The the further the further the 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 teachings of Baron spread through the land, um, yeah, it, he just he kind of just walked into the into the position. Yeah. Um, Bryson explains that to you it is and you use you nod you're like yeah i've, I've kind of i got the gist um bryson uh, says uh, once you see the steward um he will tell you of the situation now that we have a, a paladin of a baron here that we can send um then then he will he will let you know okay. any information you could possibly need um, as you go in, you see uh, guards standing tall, all of them wearing insignias of uh, the Church of Baron. And um, I am um, just like I'm, I'm like shifty eyed, like all <laughs> like everywhere we go. Like none everybody. of them look uh, <laughs> aggressive. Um, none of them have like their weapons pointed at you or anything. They're just regular guards. Um, you do see nobles just walking about the castle. They don't even realize anything that's really going on outside the city. Um, they, they've kind of got their noses stuck up. Um, make me a stealth check. Maybe. Exactly where I did not want to be. No. No. Um, I'll say nobody notices that you're kind of like skulking around. Um, they're kind of ignoring you, but you're, you're not hidden anymore. You're, you're in pretty much plain sight. You're just not in the castle. Yeah, I'd plan on staying outside the castle and just waiting. Sounds good. Um. I'll find something to do or some place to be that I won't Stand look up. like a loiterer. Gotcha. Um, as uh, the rest of the party um, is making their way through, you're just being led by a, a random Kingsguard. Um, and you, when you come up to a, a room, Kingsguard opens it, and there's a, a very large desk with a, a man that uh, he has silver hair. It's very long. It's braided. Um, and he has what looks to be spectacles on his face, but they, they have like different lenses and stuff on there. Um, he sees you and he stands up and he introduces himself. Um, Do I recognize him? Um, yes, he actually recognizes you. Um, he stands and he says, Paladin Pals. Friends? Absolutely. Let me introduce myself. I am Alphonse. My name is, <laughs> is Alphonse. I am the steward of the king. Yeah. Um, as you can see, the, the outskirts of the city is, uh, is in dire straits. Um, I hear that you were talking to one of our esteemed guards. Um, yeah, things... Things were bad. Alright, I, uh, I will step up and immediately <coughs> bow. Toward... Um, the bard. I appreciate... How does everyone know I'm a bard? I appreciate the gesture. I, uh, I appreciate the gesture. Um, but I am, I am of no royal blood. Um, 
You you can you do not need to bow to me, Steward. I I appreciate the 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 fact that you will get rid of such pomp and circumstance so that we can get down to business. Well, it is it is of the will of Baron to to accept anyone who is with one of our own. Oh yes, very much to uh, who can who to can the will of Baron. Us. Bow. Who can help us? Um, these are dire times uh, for the people of Baron. Um, as you know, the outskirts of Loghain has has been raised by bloodthirsty heathens. Ones that to wish to to strike down our people. Not just of Loghain, but all of Baron's children. I will I will begin to recant the the series of events that led us here, including the the uh, the attack on the kobolds and okay. the uh, I, I will be uh, specifically um, a little um, I will hold back some information on the relic uh, just, I will be very vague of uh, on the relic uh, just the fact that there is a a, a thing that the uh, the kobolds uh, stole yeah. from the dwarves, but I will let them know that you know the kobolds attacked, and uh, during that time is when the the, the blood orcs attacked Logain. Okay. But I will uh, um, let them he, know what happened. He um, hears your story. He says, "So you are formidable adventurers," is what you're telling me. I would say, yes, we are. He just kicks him bad, the bot. Uh, pals. Praise be to Baron. <laughs> praise be praise, to Baron. Uh, uh, praise be to Baron. And I will, uh, I will reiterate that, uh, that Pals is a fantastic opponent and a, uh, a extremely, uh, a, a helpful, uh, person in our party. I persuade uh, you to understand that he's not our opponent. <laughs> uh, opponent to the kobolds, not oh. to us. Okay. Component. <laughs> okay. Let's see check you to see if you're bullshit. Um, he, uh, uh, Alphonse, is shaking his head. He's he's in agreement. He's he's very happy to hear that you have triumphed in the adventures, and uh, he's very happy to hear that you were able to dispatch some of the orcs. Um, he goes on to uh, to say, um, so. In more detail of these orcs, um, what what could you what could you tell me about them? Were they normal orcs? I know I've heard stories of them having red skin. Is there anything else that's um, that I, I guess would be why would it, why would they attack the outskirts of of our city? Is what I'm trying to say. D does it look like? From I, I myself. Right. Why would, why do orcs do anything? I myself have never been in the shoes of an adventurer. Oh, I only know that us. they're beasts. Right. The dead ones screamed when they burned them. As I believe most why. living you, things no. will. No, they were already dead. You burned them. The bodies, yes. We burned the bodies, yes. Oh. So that and they... And they screamed. They screamed. The yes. fires let out a yell as if some sort of magic had been released from You know like when you cook a lobster? <laughs> oh, that is brutal. <laughs> I have a there question, are, Steward. When there has been some rumors about these orcs. There is a cave to the north. We've heard rituals go on there. I have a question, Steward. Yes. You don't mind my in interrupting you. When the horde came to your gates, what forces of the city guard, the king's guard, or barren paladins did you send to meet them? We sent a platoon of paladins out. Um, we sent them through the back gate. The front gate, it was too dangerous to open. Um, sadly, all of those paladins have not been seen since. See, guys, told you it wasn't the church. 
the the weapons that I was told were used <laughs> by these heathens shot fire like a dragon. But our walls, they were built to withstand such things. This city has stood since the War of Flame. Since the dragon god tried to appear, and Baron ascended. And knowing the strength of your walls, you failed to allow innocent civilians into them for what reason? I would say to protect the people inside of the city. It was not my decision. Whose decision was it? The game himself. You are his stew. You are his right hand. I might be his right hand, but the left hurts when you don't obey. Mm. He said, "Keep the gates closed and send our paladins through the back." All right, I uh, I push Wolf out of my way and I pull out our map and I push it in front of the steward and say, "Show me where this this cavern or cave system is, where the where the." events were going on that you know of? From rumors that we have from investigators or, or inquisitors, uh, which is a group of priests, clerics, and paladins alike, um, there was uh, a cavern system in the north that, um, when they discovered it, was abandoned, but there was remnants of dark rituals and dark rites, different glyphs that were written on the floors, summon blood. And if it's been abandoned when it was last found, what good will going there now be? That's assuming that it is actually abandoned and not still in use. The fact that some weird crap is going on now leads this me to believe that it's not actually unused. We're unsure of, of who re resided in this cave, but we haven't had any issues in our kingdom. Like I said, there's it's just been rumors. There have been rumors in, in one of our settlements to the north of rumblings in the mountains. There's been rumors to some of our settlements in the south of uncharacteristically dangerous forests where once elves resided just nomadic tribes and now no one has seen the nomadic tribes for months it's not that they just simply moved on it's sacred forests are now empty I refuse to believe that all of this is just pomp and circumstance like all of this is happening for a reason there is uh, one thing is leading into another. Like we've got kobolds uh, increased activity. The the blood orcs are attacking, and suddenly we realize that there is a a ritual site to the north that just happens to. Oh no, no, no one's using it now. I don't believe that. I think we need to investigate. What can we do to help, Stuart? Um, if you would. I would like to send you on a holy quest, oh, I guess you could say. Those are words <laughs> um, are no words. You could represent the, the Church of Baron and go north and investigate these caverns and see if there are any activity. The last thing we need is more people to die, but there are whispers that the dragon cult is not gone. So we're done. Alright, after uh, seeing how uh, 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 quick Pals is to uh, throw his steel behind it, uh, I say, we're, whoa, 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 whoa. we're not going to go under-equipped. We are but 
We are but cell swords. We have nothing of our own to bring but our wits about us. What can you provide for us to help us with this task? Well, um... It is a, a couple of days' travel, so before you leave, uh, please, we will, we will keep you. Um, we will feed you. We will uh, give you warm beds to sleep in for the night. Um, if you have wish of equipment, um, I sure our smiths that are inside of the city could give you some sort of discount. Um, we can see that done. Um, is there anything else that you wish? Afterwards, when we're successful. When you're successful, of course, gold can be a reward. Um, I can speak with the king to see if there is anything else that um, that he would be able to bestow on you for any kind of information or any kind of return. I would like to be officially named Paladin. You're not a Paladin already. No. We can we can discuss this. I would like access to the church's archives. I will see what I can do. I turn around and start to walk out, and as I do so, I say over my shoulder, I'd like all the dead outside brought back, and I walk out the door. <laughs> so edgy. <Yeah. laughs> um, he just, he kind of has that look of, sorry, Charlie. I mean, I'm not looking at him. Yeah, I don't he can't yeah. even see him. He just has that look of, oh, that's something I can't do. Right. Um, one last question before we leave. If we have <clears throat> run across anybody along our travels that maybe has possibly fallen low in the, in the church's eye, could we get them forgiven? If we ever do. I, I'm not sure. Is there, is there somebody in No, particular? but, you know, along our travels, we could run into somebody. Um, unless their crimes are too great, um, I, I'm not one that can give pardons, but I'm, I'm sure we can facilitate that, um, uh, sans a, a mass murderer or someone who has tried to commit atrocities against... No, I. Roll me a stealth check. Mm, that's gooder. It's uh, <laughs> sixteen. A um, a king's guard walks past you and, and kind of does a double take. Um, he reaches into a pouch, and pulls out a scroll, and he looks at it. And he looks at you. And it back in his pocket and he just shakes his head. I like like I didn't notice him. Are you are you nearby the entrance to the tower? Yeah, he never went inside yeah. of the uh, yeah. the keep. When I walk out I'm gonna try to keep an eye out to see if I, I see where he went to. I mean I don't know that Iggy he walked or into the, the guard. Iggy. I, I don't okay. know that he walked in the city, but I would assume knowing him that he would have kept an eye on us. Okay. Yeah. I as I leave the uh, steward and meet up with the rest of the group, I think we need to investigate this series of caverns up to the north. Uh, there's no way that everything is not connected. I just don't believe that they're, they're coincidental. Something is happening where Logan is under attack, and... The, the, the relic has to be at the middle of it. I, I just don't believe that there's this is coincidental. Um, I think we came in the nick of time. I mean, sorry all these people died, but we could stop further invasion. Is there is there in some, protect, the uh, kind of no an game. academic library in Logan of some sort? There's just the, the normal kind of archive that's of, of public use. Um, it's there's like a small building near the keep. It's, it's got the kind of books that she's looking for. It has kind of like the history of the city, other reference books. It's it's kind of a store, but it's kind of just a place for the nobles to 
go and it's almost like a library. We'll yeah. say it's a library. Um, once I meet up with everybody and, and we talk about whatever, eventually once we're done, I'm gonna before we close in for the night, I'm gonna head there and I'm gonna spend at least an hour or two. Can I make like uh, either? I don't know if you'd want it to be an investigation check or a history check or maybe using the library that gives me advantage or something like that to see if I can... Basically, I'm looking for any information in books about the geographical area that this supposed cave site is in and any historical significance or, or notes of events that might have happened around okay. that area, things like um, that. You go into the library and you're, you're shuffling through some books and uh, you find one of its kind of a large reference book, but it, it details different battles in the, the War of Flames, which was the, the Great War. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. um... With the Dragon Cult. Yeah, um... You read through the, the history parts, and you get... You can see that it's it's a different version than, like... It, you can... On the cover, it, it has, like, an edition, and you can see that it's been... Has pieces of Baron's uh, religion thrown in into spots now. Uh, it talks about how the dragon... The dragon god was felled by Baron, who arisen to godlike status and or god status and uh, smite the uh, the spirit down. Um, you um, you hear or you see in one of the chapters it talks about a cavern that was used um, for uh, fell rituals by the dragon cult, and they actually the um, the church. Before, or like before, it was got like really big. It was a group of paladins kind of fighting along Baron. Uh, they found a dragon relic inside of this cavern, and that's what led to the fall of the uh, the dragon cult. So, um, so I know that, that cave system is was significant to the dragon cult. Correct. At one point in time. Okay. That's where they hid their clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, everybody. Um, Everybody gets together. Um, are you coming back to the party? Mm, I'm going to try to keep an eye on them, but I'm not going to risk being seen with them. I imagine they're probably being watched by somebody. Yeah. So I'm going to keep I'm at, yeah. a healthy it's, distance. It's a fair thing to say. Um, the, the rest of your day, you're pretty much just going to different places. Um, uh, uh, an another thing that I want to do go is ahead. go buy a blacksmith. Mm -hmm. And ask and ask for what the cost of a set of full plate mail is. All right. Um, say eighty gold. Is that right. too much? Too little? I mean, uh, you tell me. <laughs> I know what it says in the PHP, right, but I'm asking you what it's going to cost. Well, me. he he looks at uh, he looks at you, and he's um, trying to figure out. Um, what you're even there for. You don't look like the, the normal kind of customer. But um, he sees that you, you kind of like begrudgingly, you flash uh, the symbol that you were given to show that you were on a, a holy quest. And, uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> How much is it? Just let me know. Like 1500 right, we'll find out. So, um... Can you get he, the uh, house hook, homie hook up? Yeah, he uh, sees it and he's like... So you're the, you're one of the people I was told to expect, huh? I, I, I guess so. <sighs> Church discount? I, I guess I'm going to have to watch you blow it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'll watch. I hate. <laughs> Just to let you know, I'm a very good craftsman. And coming to this city was the worst thing that I've ever done. I set up shop before this church came about. And whoever comes here and does some special thing for the church gets these discounts. 200 gold and get out of my sight. Alright, I select the honey. Thing of 200 gold. I have one gold left. <laughs> take this plate mail and know that I hate the church. I, I take it and I say, I'm going to take this plate mail and let you know that so do I. <laughs> he, uh, he reaches out a fist. Uh, <laughs> Blacksmith bump. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Oh, sweet full plate. <laughs> <laughs> How much would you charge for a uh, superior shield? Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> <laughs> Have I told you I hated the church? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling. <laughs> You're never going to hit me ever, Brian. Yeah, that's all right. I'll figure out a way. Magic missile exists. <laughs> You're not wrong about that. You're not wrong about that. Um, superior shield. Give me that fucking book. <laughs> I feel like you're mad at me, and I'm I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Says the bad guy uh, sound effects. You shut up. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything anyway. more. Much. It's just Lately. a shield and a shield. Yeah, a shield is a shield. You can actually get one that has a cleaner uh, insignia on it. But it wouldn't do One anything. that has the proper insignia on it. Yeah. Yeah, the proper one. Wait, what is it? What page do you want? Uh. 45, to be honest. Uh, other than that, once we have w eventually uh, go to an inn, um, how much to stay at the inn? You've already been given um, free meal and warm beds. Cool. Well, when we go to the inn, I'm going to leave my window open <laughs> with... Um, Red sock, you know. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna take like uh, one of like if there's any spare sheets or anything like that in it and sort of uh, tie it in such a way that it sort of hangs out the window. Um, while everybody's getting ready to settle down, um, everybody's gonna level up for the uh, oh, snap. the next uh, little thing. So everybody will go up. Everybody go up to four. Or whatever you're splitting your dress. So, um, pretty much, uh, next time y'all be heading up north to investigate this, uh, this cave, um, that's said to have some kind of, uh, fell rituals. Um, not sure if anybody's there. They don't even know if anybody's there. But it was a significant site in the war, so... Of course, there's going to be speculation on whether or not um, something is, I don't, is, is troubling there. Wolf absolutely doesn't trust this mission in the slightest and thinks we're essentially being sent either on a wild goose chase or... Suicide. Or, yeah, or... Does, or, he, or does he know anything about this but, case? I think you guys are done. You know uh, the history <laughs> behind it. <laughs> um, you know that it's, it's supposed to be abandoned. Um, but you know all the history behind it. It's in the teachings of, of Baron. This was the first victory that Baron had on his campaign to unite the people under his, do, do under I, his light. Do I know any of like the teacher's edition? Um, what you know is um, the, the people that were found there um, in the cult were high-ranking people. Just, uh, uh, Baron lost... Many uh, men in this fight. I just don't understand what the blood orcs would have in connection to the dragon cult. I wouldn't. Under, I, I would, it would be weird. I'm, that I'm sure, but that's why I think that it's either a wild goose chase or us being sent on a suicide mission. Because I'm like, what the fuck does a dragon cult have to do with fucking blood orcs? Yeah, there's a lot of things. That are I I would be prepared for either eventuality. Yeah. But oh, by the way, in case you didn't get, I'm assuming Iggy would understand that I'm leaving that window so he can. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait until dark and then climb through the window. Go to my window. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I refuse. <laughs> I'm not okay with Melissa Etheridge. <laughs> really, all the things that we sing and Melissa Etheridge is yeah, one of the I, I, I had it. Were you tickled? <laughs> <laughs> I almost tickered. <laughs> I don't have many signs in the sand, but we I have, have that one. Um, <laughs> Draw a line of scissors. All right, well, uh, I guess, this, how, much, how much more time do we have? Do we have no time? We have, no time. We have seven minutes. Uh, I cast Magic just... Missile in the Darkness. I don't, also don't have Magic Missile prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Oh, well. No, you're, you're, gonna gonna you're not going to use it, though. You're going to do a ritual for me and you find this arrowhead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I uh, try, attempt to use Arcana to identify that arrowhead? Yeah, give me, uh, give me Arcana. 
Ooh, that's not too bad. Um, 19? Um, it's a um, an elemental crystal, so what you can do is if you attach it to uh, pretty much use it as an arrowhead. Mm -hmm. um, if you uh, use a bonus action, you can choose what element it is when you fire it. Okay. Um, is and it recoverable? If, when you get back to it, you can make a roll. Um, if you succeed at it, you find it in a piece. Or you find it together. If you don't, right, it's used. It's broken. I, I, I don't take that. Yes. But um, all of the all of the elements of uh, that are that you can choose, you can choose one of them. So uh, except for psychic. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like um, pretty much, if a dragon can can shoot it out his breath, a crystal can use it as a guy. Acid arrow. Yeah. yeah. Milfs. Yeah. Milfs. Milfs. Milfs acid, acid arrow. arrow. Milfs. <laughs> oh, that is a hot old lady. <laughs> Always stabbing in the eye. Uh, the, <laughs> more that, uh, the more that you use it, the uh, it does have a lifespan. So yeah. when you roll your checks, it'll go pretty much from one until you get all until the way up. Right so if down. you're able to keep beating it until 20, you got it for 20 uses at least. Uh -huh. I could beat it till the end of time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm highly practiced at beating it. <laughs> uh, so I guess that'll be it for tonight. Yeah. Um, next week, we will yeah, uh, head we're... on to the, uh, the caverns oh, to check out um, what's going on with the uh, famous site. And um, I guess that'll be it. Thanks for tuning in. Thank um, you, everybody. See y'all next week. I like three of you. Bye. We love you. Okay. They want to let you know that you're all pretty. Yeah, well, we know that. Well, and they like your butts. Oh. I'm sitting on How do they know? I feel like a piece of meat. Are there mirrors <laughs> on the floor? <laughs> I mean, you look you're, at me you're in the like eye and say you're not. Well, meat. put together. Thank you. Thanks. Considering, like, Ten of the fifteen or so of you are on our girls. Hey, they feel like you're lucky. Oh man, fans. My, my we don't friend. want to make assumptions. I mean, I Amanda, you have great bat havings. <laughs> you're person, welcome. Not a sandwich. Oh, oh, you can have. Both. said she likes Big's butt. Who? <laughs> she <laughs> likes Big's butt, and she cannot lie. I, that is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Um, thank you. Please feel free to. Uh, I encourage everybody to spread the word about this stream. We'll try to get more people spread it like uh, like. watching. Hopefully, we like can build this up. Uh, I am already <laughs> brainstorming new stuff to bring to the channel. Um, what? Uh, we're also working on a Patreon page. Not up yet, but that's coming in. Uh, maybe it might be a couple months, but it is in, in the works. Uh, we'll also be eventually streaming this to YouTube as well. So if you prefer YouTube over Twitch, that'll be a thing. Um, also, starting this week, we weren't able to do it last week, but you'll, yeah, you'll be able to uh, rewatch this if you missed it, and if you want people to watch this game, this stream, you'll now be able to visit our Twitch channel, same thing, Twitch.tv/HypotheticalHeroes, and watch the re you know the recording of this whenever the heck you'd like. Share it around. Uh, so we can build some remember. some hype. As always, That's signal boosts are uh, are very much appreciated. Please share it to your friends. Uh, you know, send us your uh, your commentary, your critiques. Let us know what you think, and so famous. that we can always be improving on what we're doing. Um, but the you know, most important thing is you know, we appreciate the fact that you're watching. Yes, thank you very much. Dinosaur mm -hmm. sound. Thank you. What dinosaur sound? <laughs> <laughs> get some like sad Hulk walking away music. I have no money. I'm gonna need to borrow money from somebody. <laughs> he's got all the, seriously, he's got the church of Barrendale. All day. seriously. Oh. I was not. I was expecting you to tell me like maybe it would be a thousand. I'm just trying to figure out how much I needed to save up. And I was like, I have two hundred gold. <laughs> That's the church of Barron, man. Although I feel really dirty having to use that stupid insignia. Oh, it does have insignias on it, by the way. Oh, the, the armor. <laughs> oh, you Welcome so to the author, brother! <laughs> yeah. It's pretty much... Uh, I'm going to be spending... You know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be spending... After, after I find that out... You just have the voting. I'm going to take the acid that I use to write... Just, I have my spell book yeah. that I write in with that. I'm going to be taking the acid and, and scarring out that freaking symbol of it. Yeah, it's, it's uh, like 900 gold. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's been enameled. 
Yeah, it, it's so, it's it's paladin armor pretty much. It just doesn't have any really kind of uh, <laughs> an enchantment like on it. It's, right. it's pretty much standard issue you paladin armor. You know what sucks armor. is your insignia looks better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Not after I scar the shit out of it with acid. <laughs> The people are just going to think that you're like a veteran of the order, and you'll get even uh, more. God damn even it! More. <laughs> oh man, you better look out the wars. <laughs> uh, not think about the wars.